Please give it up for the comedy talents that are Mr. Chris Martin. <laughs> Hello, London. So it's nice there's a lot of people here. I'm one of these people, I'm only ever happy when I'm around people. I hate being on my own. And I got taken uh, by my mates to quite a, pretent a pretentious nightclub in West London called the Kensington Roof Gardens. Don't know if you've ever been there. They've got these cocktails like mojitos and cosmopolitans. I worked out I don't like those drinks. I much prefer drinks at a house party at two in the morning when all the mixers run out. Because people start to improvise with their beverages. That is amazing, isn't it? I love it when you go, dude, what are you drinking? And they go, it's gin and skimmed milk. <laughs> out of a potty because all the glasses have run out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. When you go, what does that taste like? Only time in the English language a sentence is ever used, they go, that's actually surprisingly drinkable. <laughs> <laughs> but my mates, they took me to this place and I heard this amazing story, the best story I've heard all year. Uh, they used to have real life flamingos on the roof of this nightclub, but they had to move them because one evening someone got drunk and threw one off the roof. <laughs> Now, to me, that is amazing, because I think that could only ever happen in Britain. Any other country in the world, America, people would go, oh, my God, a flamingo, that's amazing, let's take a photo. In this country, it's like, Dave, you fuck it, I'll chuck it. <laughs> I maybe thought, why didn't it fly off? But then, clearly, they've all had their wings clipped. They wouldn't just be hanging out on the roof for a laugh. Because up there going, the mojitos here are surprisingly drinkable. Mm -mm -mm. But more than anything, I couldn't stop thinking, how baffled would you be if you're walking down the street drunk at one in the morning? <laughs> yeah, mate. I know I've had a lot of drugs and a lot of booze tonight, but I'm almost certain I nearly got hit in the face by a massive gay pigeon. 